What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel for another trail talk episode. Um, what's there to talk about? Probably these absolute bangers. These here were eight dollars and eighty cents on one of them sites called Timo. And essentially they are better than expected. They have air holes, they have a perfect nose piece, which actually sits off your face. And I really like them. They feel really good. I had Jack wear them all day on Saturday at Yuki, Yukai Mountain Bike Park. And he reckons they're great. He wore them all day. They've got the chromatic um, lens, or whatever you want to call it, which changes the uh, shading in changes the uh, shading in the um, different light. So, if I look at the sun, it's a bit darker, and they feel really good. So, yeah, I'm gonna test them out a bit more today and see how we go. So, I'm gonna do a bit of a simple pedal out here at the local. I'm on Mount Peel today. And, um, well, it's a bit windy. We'll see how that translates. Had quite a bit of rain yesterday, but as you can see, it's not uh, looking too wet. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we're on the Wacker Wacker Trail. We're gonna go right to the top and uh, send it down. But um, yeah, these are uh, Timo, Temo, Timo Ooh, glasses. They um, feel really good. I have never really worn glasses before. I um, just never gave my chance. I, when I was riding for false neutral, I was wearing the glasses and they, um, oh, they felt quite good. However, like I didn't mind wearing them. I just, they were always um, like very shaded, very dark. And I couldn't see. I wanted some clears, but um, yeah, I just never got any. And um, some clears would have been ideal, which is what these are. They just have the photo, photochromic, photochromic, don't know, something like that. I'll um, leave a link below where you can buy these. I just searched up on Google mountain bike riding glasses or something like that. And these came up, they were like first. And um, they come in a few different styles and colors. And these black ones were, I thought, I thought, yeah, just, you know, black, plain black will look good. And they do. I also got a pair of whites just because We'll try them both, and um, they look good as well. I was surprised at how good they look. Oh, geez, almost lost the front. And how good they feel on the face. And there's no, um, there's no like lens block when I'm riding. I can't see any lens block anyway. <laughs> You turn that into a step down if you can huck hard enough. So I'm um, yeah, we're gonna climb the top and send it right down. I've um, not ridden since Saturday, which was our trip to Yuki. I'm currently filming this on a Wednesday, so that uh, Yuki video will be out Friday, and it's a uh, absolute banger. So that video will actually be up before this one I'm currently filming. And um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked with, well, I haven't actually edited the video yet, but I'm telling you, it's a good one. So <laughs> just everything we did was awesome. Out at our Yukai Mountain Bike Park, brand new, built by Trailworks. So you know what you're gonna get, something decent. Um, I had a bad back the day before riding there and of the day riding there it was quite bad as well didn't feel great <laughs> but today 
well, I let my back rest for three days with no riding or not like minimal physical activity. I still did some weights and squats, but mostly no riding. Well, absolutely no riding since Saturday. So I feel a bit tired. <laughs> I thought I'd feel refreshed. But yeah, back still not 100%. And hopefully this ride helps it rather than makes it worse. So we're going to the very top and we're going to head down some of the main trails and then jump onto a pirate secret trail, which is actually on trail fork. So it's not secret, it's just not legal. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to the top too bad that climb we're now at the uh, main junction at Mount Peel and we are going to go down Dala the descending part of it we'll see if I can ride my normal oh we'll go a bit above normal for speed and um see how these glasses feel Yeah, that's a big jump, eh? <laughs> Hopefully there's no uh, big bruise out on here. <laughs> Sometimes you come full iron through and you literally can run up the back of them. So they don't care. They just don't move. <laughs> yeah! Woo. I cleaned up the bottom of that not long ago, but it's so much better now. That's a little slow bit here on Dala. Yeah, and now we're gonna jump off. I won't ruin the trail. Jump off here and head over to the uh, trail called Hidden Gem. Now, uh, this trail isn't on, uh, well, it is on trail course, but I don't know who added it. It wasn't me. I'm generally the person who adds and fixes up all the trails and updates and stuff in Toowoomba. I mean, there are probably other people who do it, but I believe I'm the main one because I'm always on trail course. <laughs> Fixing stuff up and whatnot. And I didn't add this trail on here, but someone else did. So, um, yeah, we'll go for a ride down. I've ridden down here. <laughs> this is a link trail here called, it's called uh, Grass Cutter. However, it might have an official name and it might not be an official trail. <laughs> There's a couple different lines down this trail and I probably won't hit all of the jumps. As last time I was here, they were a bit, how you going? But there's a little, well, not a little one. It's quite big, this drop right here. Oh, <laughs> quite big indeed. And then these jumps are not currently in action. Whoa, bit of a uphill. And it's a bit more dark in here than you. Oh. Stuck on them two rocks. <laughs> Ooh. Quite rocky down this bit of a shoot. And my tyres are probably way too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's just something different, you know. Very tight, very pirate trail esque, of course. <laughs> Not clear in that. And there is a few different lines down here as well. Ooh. Good there's a rock here, wow. Very rocky, but very fun. Just a different type of trail out here, you know. Yeah. Most of the trails here are a bit rocky but still flowy. Whereas this one is rocky and a shoot like 
There's a couple jumps on that other link down here. They're not very big, but they are pretty fun. But it all links back onto this, which you have this huge uh, step down to the table. And then a big um, step up, which jumps into this, which is Lantana Ribbon. Driven. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a little hidden gem trail out here, which is on trail foot, so it's quite easy to find. And somewhat maintained. The guys, or well, someone out here, gets a whippersnapper to it quite often by looks. And it brings you out at the bottom here, but that's a little hidden gem trail. Um, I think I might just climb just up here and do this lower bit of Dala down. It's got some little jumps and uh, a couple of berms. It's quite fun. So just up here, we'll turn around. Sounds like, yep, here he comes. The uh, magpie is not having it. <laughs> oh, the uh, magpie was pissed for like two seconds until I got the camera out. Now he's pissed off. So no. I might need to get the GoPro on my head. <laughs> we'll see when we get back to the bottom. I've dialed down, it's just a couple berms and stuff at the bottom here. And yes, today is a uh, late Wednesday afternoon after 4 pm. Oh, there's the magpie! Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Alright, he's pissed. Oh well. Oh, he's actually hitting the helmet this time. Woo. Good thing I got my glasses on. <laughs> oh, let's see if he shoots after me. Oh, I almost hit him. In the end. Oh, that rear wheel was right out the back. Oh, there he is. Woo. <laughs> Bloody magpies, eh? <laughs> he's fuming. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh, here he comes, I think. Oh, fucking magpies. They scare me, but it's not like a... I'm not that worried about them, you know? You kind of just... Oh. <laughs> Perfect day to wear the glasses. <laughs> they kind of scare me, but it's not like a big deal. In an essence, I've been getting swooped by my whole life on the BMX. <laughs> Alright, looks like he's calmed down. Um, oh no, he's still there. Um, we will ride back to the top and um, go back down the other side towards the car. Just say, oh, he's still going. And um, yeah, see you in a sec. You done, bud? You had enough? Whew, that's his exercise for the day. Oh, there he comes. There he is. He's only a little magpie too. Oh well, anyways, see you at the top. Righto, back at the halfway point. And we're gonna go down the Gumby Gumby trail now. And um, yeah, these are still faring really well. Very stoked with these. Might um, wear them all the time, get real used to them and maybe buy some more in some other colors because there is Quite a few different colorways and they all look good. They do, seriously, they look good. So this little down trail is nothing spectacular, but I do currently hold, no I don't, sorry, I got my second, second place on Strava for this trail segment, but obviously I won't be doing that today. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, I almost jumped straight over that into a rock, which almost, almost, if I landed slightly to the left, I would have went over the bars. <laughs> oh. There is quite a few jumps on this trail if you can uh, keep your speed up and see them in time. They are mostly washed away though, but when I did, I did. I used to hold the KOM on this trail. It wasn't as 
I'm as round as this either. Oh. I used to sort of be able to clear that. And there was a jump on the right there, which is overgrown and washed away. You really need to um, come down and clean it up. The main problem is it is so hard to dig out here in this dry soil. Today's quite good though, you can get some grip, a little bit here and there. So yeah, this is called Dumb Gumby Gumby. And this is the descending part that is our climb trail on the other side. So you pretty much go up and then down. Same as Dala. You're up one side, down the other. But this one has a couple of little features on it. <laughs> Not as big as uh, Dala. Dala down a bit more. Jump heavy in. So yeah, this is still pretty fun. Our trail is as wild as you make it really, right? The faster you go, the more serious it becomes. Do be careful on this trail, but it is a uh, two-way apparently. And the sign at the bottom does say two-way, which is definitely not built for a two-way trail. <laughs> So the back is faring okay for my back. It's just lower back. Standard stuff I get. Standard pain I sometimes get. After various different things, usually it's from repetitive uh, repetitive lifting and whatnot at work. Or, I've also had it from uh, going downhill too many times. Not boomers, but Jubilee. So you're standing up for six or seven k's downhill and it starts to hurt after a while. We're actually back on Wacker Wacker now, as most of you would know. Fun little trail back to the car park. It's very chill, but still quite enjoyable. If you live in Toowoomba, you should come out here at least once because it's a different sort of riding to uh, Jubilee whereas it's way more rocky and uh, black soil <laughs> quite different but you know not overly not overly fun I, I like it because it's uh well I like pretty much everywhere <sighs> yeah this has been a small ride and um, I hope you guys are still enjoying the uh, Trail Talk videos. I named them Trail Talk after I did like six or seven of them. So <laughs> they are called Trail Talk, but I probably might need to include that in the title somewhere. That they're called Trail Talk. So you guys that only want to watch them rather than the other videos can quite, quite comfortably click on one and know what it is. However, I won't be uploading as often anymore. What I mean by that is I will upload three videos a week, pretty much at the max, unless there's like a, um, a race I go and film or something like that. Or maybe like a top 10 list or whatever. I haven't done one of them in ages, but I plan to keep those at once a year type thing. And um, basically, oh, some skips. They're gone. <laughs> basically, what I want to do is have a raw Wednesdays every Wednesday, which I still have about six or seven of those in the upload. And then have uh, my common Friday bit. Oh, let's quickly say hello to this little guy real fast as I've seen him. Taking off in the bush, unless you can see him. Look at that. He's a pretty big echidna. <laughs> I guess he's seen me and he started running, but. 
absolutely love seeing the wildlife out here. Look at the holes. So if you ever come out on the trails and you see stuff like this, stuff like that, it's generally from the echidnas. Normally, um, goannas and whatnot don't make those holes. Generally, you will not see a snake digging in one of them holes for whatever random reason. So yeah, you see those. Generally, there's an echidna nearby. Oh, jeez, almost. Uh, what the hell happened then? I went to uh, grab something and my hand slipped. <laughs> almost ate shit on flat ground. But yeah, generally, you'll see an echidna if you follow those uh, holes somewhere near the bush, depending on how fresh they are. Out here at Mount Peel, there is heaps of them. And I almost see one every ride. Which is sick, because uh, wildlife is so awesome, especially in Australia, you see so much weird stuff, <laughs> animal-wise. So many weird animals. So, um, what was I talking about before I seen that guy? The videos are weekly. The weekly vids, three of them, I'm going to try and stay to just three, which is Wednesdays, raw Wednesdays generally. That's probably gonna have a change Friday vid which is an adventure vid you know mostly edited or well, way more edited than the others with um, you know story style voice style you, you get the gist you know what it is that's pretty much what my channel is those videos and I'm thinking Sundays um, to upload these trail talk vids you know a lazy Sunday have the video up at midday and um yeah it'll be generally quite long around between 15 plus minutes sometimes 30 sometimes an hour it depends where i'm riding and what i have to talk about but um yeah that is going to be the schedule actually big news in my world <laughs> is we have just planned a trip to Threadbow in late February. So it's the last weekend of February, February. <laughs> and um, if you live down that way, come down to Threadbow between the 29th and the 4th, 29th of Feb and the 4th of March. I will be there with the crew. There is going to be eight of us going and it's going to be nuts. It is seriously going to be the dream. And um, we're getting ready for some proper sends down at Threadbow. It's going to be sick. So yeah, if you're in that area or if you want to plan a trip during that time, definitely uh, think about Threadbow. That is this week's episode of Trail Talk complete. I'm going to pack up my car and whatnot. But these glasses, very stoked. Very stoked with these. These are bloody brilliant I, that piece of rubber there is so sturdy and solid and these um the arms whatever you want to call that uh hinge the hinge clip really good i really recommend these so i'll, I'll leave a link below to uh, get a set of these i'm not sponsored by them or anything i just went on uh google typed in riding glasses after i got poked in the eye and um, these come up and I was like, eight bucks, how can I say no? They look good, they look like what I wanted. And um, it turns out they are really good. So anyways, leave a like if you like this video or if you watch any of my videos, leave a like, like why not, you know? Even if you don't like it, leave a like, <laughs> just kidding. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any issues with any of the videos or if you're not enjoying them or whatnot. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there, see what happens. Subscribe if you're new, as I upload these every week. And um, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Legends.